Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, Ionor and Blackwall spent some time at the tavern together, and their conversation ended rather worryingly. In Ionor's opinion, the things that Blackwall was saying about how you know, oh, you make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of doing half of what you've done. It's it's become increasingly apparent that Blackwall is putting Ionor up on a pedestal. He's not really viewing her as her. He's more so almost in the same way that Ionor used to look at the Grey Wardens. There's a little bit of hero worship going on there and it it really seems to be having quite a negative impact on Blackwall's emotional state. I think the first thing Einor would do is go and check up on him. Hello? I, I saw two speech bubbles then. You were out here talking with someone, Harding. Who was it? Who are you having secret liaisons with? Inquisitor. Hello there. You're right, Flissa. Um, yeah, I think the first thing Einor would want to do would be to just go in and check on him because he doesn't seem to be that was weird fairbanks can turn invisible okay which we're just going to ignore that you've given up that's your problem i've changed how i fight the young like their victory is sudden and violent that was in one of my books you took it i wanted to know where you're learning all this I don't want you rushing to the Dales, dreaming of outlaws. Stay out of my things. It's not your business. Oh, that... Here's the thing. I completely get where, um... I, t I don't know which one is speaking. That's the problem. Um, the one who's like, oh, I want to know where you're getting all this from. I don't want you rushing off. I completely get where she's coming from because the other is thinking very idealistically. She's not thinking realistically because if you if you head off to the uh to the emerald graves or you know some some place like that to uh, you know become an outlaw fighting for justice it it's not going to be romantic it's not going to be like in your stories people are going to be dying and it's going to be tough you know it she just wants you to be safe your friend just wants you to be safe like I'd I'd listen personally i should look around indeed we should blackwall is gone and after that last conversation i think there's just there's just a pit in ironor's stomach a message from blackwall inquisitor you've been a friend and an inspiration you've given me the wisdom to know right from wrong and more importantly the courage to uphold the former it's been my honour to serve you. He's gone. He's gone and hello there. <laughs> he was hiding. He was hiding behind there like, has the Inquisitor found the note yet? She ha- Okay, now, now run out quickly. Oh, hello there, sir. The spy master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. He must have his reasons. Gone where? Liliana must know. Find him. Oh, this is... This is deeply concerning. Um, he, he will have his reasons. Blackwall has never been one for flights of fancy or out like that. Like, everything he's done, he's done with a purpose. However, I think Ionor, considering he was in a rather delicate place... The last time we spoke to him, I, I think Ainor would be very concerned as to what those reasons are. He would not have left unless he had a good reason. It is not for me to speculate on Blackwall's motivations. Sister Leliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. A crumpled report. A crumpled sheet of paper. 
It looks like it was removed from a recent report to Sister Liliana. Lieutenant Cyril Mornay, one of the soldiers responsible for the Calier massacre of 937, was captured in Lydes. Like the others who were arrested for their involvement, Mornay insists that he did not know who he was assassinating and that he was just following the orders of his captain. This captain, Tom Rainier, is still at large. Mornay is to be executed within the week in Val Royale. So this is not the first time we've heard of Tom Rainier or the Calier massacre. In Val Royale, I believe, we can hear banter between two nobles where basically they're saying that, oh, have you heard? Tom Rainier's been spotted in Val Royale and the other person says, don't be daft, he wouldn't risk showing his face in the capital. And we hear about the Calier massacre in... um. It's the the exalted plains where the two armies are. We can find a codex entry that states that Tom Rainier is still wanted for um, for the murder, and I believe there are a couple of refugees talking about it, kind of on the plains somewhere. We don't really know what the Calier massacre was. I mean, we can take certain certain inferences from the things we've heard from the things in this codex entry but we don't really know what this event is um what would Ainor be thinking i don't think Ainor would be able to put together what blackwall is thinking if you if you catch my drift if i if I had it so that Ainor was like i know exactly what's going on with blackwall clearly he's insert spoilers here and um, i feel like that would be mixing my own knowledge with you know the game and i i don't personally like doing that if i know something but i know doesn't then i know doesn't know it like simple as i i try not to mix in character knowledge with out of character knowledge there are some characters who i think would be able to figure out what's going on with blackwall i think artin would artin was uh artin would have made a good spy master to be blunt, she was a, a diplomat who could have very easily turned her hand to more nefarious purposes. Ionor, however, is not that way inclined. She is not a sneaky person. Um, I think what she's probably thinking is that, you know, maybe Blackwall, like, whatever this event is, maybe it's, maybe it's very traumatic and he feels like it affects him. I mean, we we don't know what Blackwall's childhood was like. Maybe he's had family members who were assassinated, and so he, he feels like this hits hard. Maybe he knows this Cyril Mornay or this Tom Rainier, and he, he knows something that maybe the general populace does not. Considering the Codex entry ends with, you know, Mornay is to be executed in Val Royo, it's highly likely that's where he's headed. If this is the... If he went out of his way to steal this report, he's probably headed to Val Royo. In which case, in Ionor's mind, she's probably thinking, oh, he's going to conscript Cyril Mornay. He's a Grey Warden. Grey Wardens have the right of conscription. And as we saw in the uh, City Elf opening of Dragon Age Origins, a Grey Warden can easily conscript a, uh, a wanted criminal. So... I think she's probably thinking, oh, we must be going there to conscript him. Maybe he knows something about the massacre. Hmm, that, that's what seems most likely. Pardon me, my throat just cracked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sip, one second. Sorry about that. My throat feels a little off today, I don't know why. Um, so we could go to Valance, however... Blackwall is... He's in trouble. Not legally right now, but, like, emotionally. He's not doing well, and... Inquisitor. Hello there. I think Einor... He, he was in a bad place the last time we talked. We have to track him down. We have to make sure that he is okay, that he's not gonna do out daft at this execution. Of course, before I go, I am going to sort out the, uh, the war table.
Let's see. Where everyone was on the Ferelden side of the map, I do believe. Yes, okay. Red Jenny and the Tantavale Charade. Regarding the caravan we halted, the Venatori may have cult like resolve, but the merchants who unknowingly supply supplied them were quick to retreat. The Red Jenny Charade is looking into who might have organized them. Okay. So it does seem like the merchants were they weren't in league with the Venatori. It was all uh, you know, a misunderstanding, a an unfortunate coincidence, shall we say. Aiding Kirkwall. Rebuilding efforts are progressing well, but there is little we can do about the Red Lyrium. It seems impossible to destroy. The gallows, where it is most concentrated, must be placed under quarantine. Our soldiers are handling it as we speak. Cullen. Good stuff. And a missing assassin. We will provide Zevran with the resources he needs. Without telling the crows, of course. Lord Enzo is proving elusive. More eyes in her cinea cannot hurt. Liliana. All righty then, I'm gonna figure out what-, what happened in Adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. Uh, everyone would be dead. That's what would have happened. I'ma figure out where I'm sending everyone. Be right back. Okie doke, and I am back. The first place we're gonna go to is obtaining the amulet for Cole. This is, this is really important in Ionor's mind. Regardless of whether Cole is a demon or spirit, he remains vulnerable to venatory binding magic. The Amulet of the Unbound, used by Ravani Seers, is said to protect spirits from such magic. However, finding such an amulet in this part of the world will be difficult. And um, Cullen is not participating. Liliana says, I know a wealthy Orlesian noble whose private collection includes jewellery from all over Thedas. I doubt he would miss one piece. And Josephine says, my Ravani contacts say these amulets are held dear, but to protect spirits from the breach, they are willing to help us. Let's not just steal the thing. If we have actual Ravani contacts who are willing to help us to keep a spirit safe, like let's, let's do that. Let's not just resort to stealing. At your service. Now we are going to head over to uh, Orle because this side is looking much fuller than the Ferelden side. Destroy Adamant Fortress. Inquisitor. Per my earlier recommendation, I'd like permission to send some of the charges to Adamant Fortress. The Inquisition already destroyed most of it. My troops can tear down enough of the rest that it doesn't turn into a stronghold for demons or Venatori or whatever else is out here causing us trouble. Lieutenant Cremisius Aklazi. Josephine would have suggested many Orlesian nobles would love the reputation of having aided in the destruction of Adamant Fortress. And Cullen says it took all our forces to break Adamant. I'd happily spare some men to ensure the safety of the charges. Um, this one is like a good PR stunt. You know, we can get some Orlesian nobles on our side. However, how much use would they actually be? They'd probably just be, like, standing there while their personal painters do a quick sketch of them so that they can say, oh, I was there when Adamant Fortress fell. They probably wouldn't do anything. Let's just send our own people. This this way we'll know the job will be done. It won't be half assed To work. And lastly, Judgment, Recover Sold Artifacts. Service, the Venatori who offered to help the Inquisition after his capture, has provided a tip on the whereabouts of some old magical artifacts he shipped out of the Western Approach. He claims he requires a small squadron of helpers and a decent amount of coin to recover them for the Inquisition. Josephine would have said he seems too prideful to cheat us without proving his worth first. I'd give him what he asks, within reason. Colin would have said, I can send my soldiers to help this mage. They'll keep a close eye on him. And Liliana says, we cannot fully trust the man and he knows it. I will give him his helpers and send an unseen spy along. Yeah, service. Service wasn't loyal to Corythius, but he's not loyal to us either. He's a, 
a weaselly person who his only loyalty is to himself. Sending sending a spy along, I think, is the smart thing. You know, just to see what he does when he thinks he isn't being watched. Let's see what we have. Good stuff. Now then, let's head straight to Valroyo. I know I haven't sorted out my inventory, however, I I don't think I need to just yet. If As long as I'm doing companion quests, I don't really need to sort out my inventory. And we do have just shy of 30, 30 spaces. There we go. I don't, I don't know what's going on with me today. My mouth feels like it's full of cotton. It's very odd. Anyway, Valroyo right there i'm thinking ooh. oh oh I... that's sad that is i'm so sorry varric i'm so sorry and there's blackwall's card off on his own you know what i'm no 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 i don't want cassandra i want varric cole and let's Let's bring a mage, because why not? Um, you know what? Let's, let's grab Solus. He's always good. I do love this cutscene. I really love this cutscene. And it's raining, because of course it would be. God, it's a full gallows. Jesus. Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Well, this is grim. They're going to kill him. Not now, Cole. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead and has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. <laughs> And there we have it. There's the revelation. Oh, I... I think Ainor probably realised at about the same time as Varric. When Blackwall, you know, when they said, Oh, then give us the, the man who gave the order. And he just looked out. I think that's when it twigged for Ainor. She was just like, oh no, Blackwall, no. What is this? The are back in line and the Templars are mad as rabbits? Free mage alliance of sorts. No circles. A bold move, and needed if what I hear is true about this elder one. What I wouldn't give for a good old fashioned war with swords. Ah! A war with swords probably would cause less bloodshed. Okay, hello. Can you believe it? Tom Rainier himself. I, I know, you're standing a little close there, chicken. You might want to back up. Personal space, Ainor. Personal space. 
You must know something about René. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Yet we did hear Lord Callier, his wife, his four children, and his retainers. Flipping heck. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. Oof. Guess not. Flipping it. it yeah, we, we need to go. We need to go and see him ASAP. Iron Ore has... Iron Ore has so many questions. How odd that more men show up at the manor to speak with you. You and not I. I apologize, sire. I'd never met those men before. And what did they need? Nothing uncivilly, I hope. They asked about ruins, something I found when I was a child. Rather strange they knew about it at all. I, I love that. I love that. This man is just realising that his elven servant has a life. And potentially may, you know, may actually be considered important to people. I I presume it was the Venatori coming to speak with him about some elven ruin he found. Because he does have a, um, I don't know if he has any markings, but he did have an Irish accent. Was it Irish? Could have been Welsh. Can't remember. Didn't pick up any... Didn't pick up on it at the time, but he, he had an accent that is Dalish. So potentially he is an ex-Dalish who, you know, took to the cities. So, mmm. Very suspect. Hello. Even death must be pretty and fresh. Yeah. What the fuck? Sir, I'd... Leave him be. Leave him be. He's weird. Ooh, Don't question it. There is an issue that you should address. I think it's worth your time, Inquisitor. Thank you, Meriden, and we will get to it, however... She was still in charge, so what was the point? You would not believe the number of alliances shattered and broken that night. Sounds like a war. Oh, it seems so. And I've decided to go a different way entirely. Is that good? Mm, I can't shall... believe this. Oh, my. Okay, but uh, as... As I was saying, yet yeah, Meriden will will sort out your issue in a bit. Right now, we've got we've got more important things to deal with. Blackwall's in prison. Blackwall's about to be executed. We need to we need to do something. We need to get answers. God, this place looks grim. Oof. Flipping heck. And of course, they've put him in the cell right at the back. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. Oh, what you did was brave. You lied to me. You really killed those people and dying makes up for it. Oh, I... This seems... If I'm being honest, this seems a little narcissistic. You lied to me. I can't believe you did this. Oh my God. Me, me, me. I, I, I. Self, self, self. Like, who cares about that? He apparently killed. Like... A guy, his wife, his four kids, and his retainers. Like, this. Surely that's the important thing here, not the fact that he lied about his identity. To be blunt, I don't, I don't think Ionor cares that he lied about his identity. It's, it's like with the, the spirit of the divine in the Fade. Was she the soul of Justinia? Was she a spirit of faith that was assuming her identity? Who cares about that? It doesn't matter. It's not important. She's helping. 
who cares what she really is? She's helping. Like, let's let's just leave it at that. It doesn't matter to Iron Ore that Blackwall lied about his identity. Lying about being a warden, that was a bit dodgy, but lying about who he is, that's irrelevant. He apparently murdered a whole family. Was the bailiff telling the truth? Did you really do those things? Yes, I did. It's all true. It's time we all took a good look at who I really am. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, and I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. Ooh, it... That certainly is a very shocking confession. Um... It... <laughs> Killing is one thing. I mean, if, if you want to look at it uh, uh, in this manner, all of Ionor's companions, including her advisors, are murderers. Even Josephine, because Josephine pushed someone down the stairs and, you know, he died. He snapped his neck. Yes, it was an accident. Yes, it was self-defense. However, everyone is a murderer. Everyone has taken a life. Ionor's taken lives. She's killed bandits. And again, self-defense. But if you asked that bandit's mother, what would you say about the, the person who killed your child? I guarantee most of them would say, oh, they're murdering bastards. They killed my child. I don't care that they were defending themselves. That's my baby. How dare they? Like, killing is one thing. Killing a whole family, including the children. It, it's shocking. I don't think Einor could say that she isn't shocked. But right now, I think looking at Blackwall in this state, I think what she mostly feels is pity. She just feels so, so much pity for this man. He is suffering. Does whether you believe he deserves it or not, that it, he's he's just in. Oh, he's in a really bad way. Um, I I don't think she'd say he's pathetic. He, here's the thing, it'd be one thing if he was like, oh yeah, killed Lord Callier and his kids. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. But no, he's saying, this is what I am. I'm a murderer. I'm a traitor. I'm a monster. He's clearly beating himself up about this, as he should, as is right. He killed kids. Don't do that. Um... If he was being really, like, happy about it, then she'd probably be going for, for, oh, you're pathetic. But he feels remorse. He clearly feels a great deal of guilt. And he came clean. He stopped Cyril, Mor Cyril Mornay's execution to take the blame. And he was getting away scot-free with that. He could have just stayed silent and allowed Cyril to die, but he didn't. He spoke up. The first time she ever met Blackwall, he was going out of his way to save farmers. This is a man who has done good deeds. Looking back, it probably all was out of a sense of, I need to repent. I fucked up. I did this horrible, horrible thing and I'm a monster and I need to repent for that. It... He may be a monster, but that doesn't also mean that he's never done good deeds in his life. I know you're more than what you say. Have some faith in yourself. Oh, buddy, this is... This is just a mess. This is just a mess. I could have sworn... There was a thing down here. Hmm. 
I remember being able to get a uh, an amulet of power. They may have removed it, to be fair. Oh, well. Uh, either way, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, we're going to have a chat with Blackwall. We are going to hear the full story of what he did. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.